Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Aki. If you're new and for those that's been watching, thank you so much for coming back. So this is, um, I'm filming the next day from the previous video, as you, if you've already seen it. Uh, I actually like accidentally cracked the, the <laughs> cracked delirium and it has some cracks on it, but um, yeah, I just like checked on YouTube and stuff and like some recommended like car um, shield repair stuff for like But it looked a little too complicated because it's too big and they're not like straight, you know, so um, I saw one video um, using Gorilla clear glue and I bought that and like try to glue the whole thing and I mean you can still see the crack but it's not as bad because it's just it's only over here on one side that you can see the crack but the rest of the crack is on the bottom so it's going to be filled with pebbles and um soils anyway so <laughs> it's not that noticeable and so it's been dry for 24 hours so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and make the tellurium because I've been really wanting to make this for a long time and the plants that I bought likes high humidity and I feel like some of them are not doing so well already so um, let me show you what I have the plants to put in I got this uh, they're called the baby tears so you can see some browning <laughs> Um, it's not doing well, but I think it will probably like, um, yeah, thrive in the tellurium. Like all this are, I search and they do very well on the closed tellurium. So, so this is baby tear or baby teardrop. And I uh, got a lemon button fern. These are very pretty. And also got, um, I forgot, pilea. Palia aluminum plant. That's really pretty as well. And so these three I bought from the nursery recently and I'm also going to add this nerve plant, pink nerve plant that's in Lekka right now but um, I think it will probably thrive better in the Tellarium for sure because all my <clears throat> nerve plants are doing so much better in there and she suffered a little from the thrips so I hope I have gotten all the thrips out I'm gonna wash it with a soap before put them in into the tellurium just in case and have last one that's not doing well at all is the watermelon pepperoni uh huh? watermelon pepperoni yeah so these I propagated um, and like been in here for a while but it's not doing looking so well and I think it likes high humidity so I'm gonna put these guys in here as well and see how it might thrive and might die I don't know but let's see how it will do so and the figurines have finally arrived. I've been waiting for these guys to arrive. That's why it took me forever because I got the terrarium in, back in March and I ordered these. And the Totoro figurines arrived like one month after, but this little dust bunnies took like three months to come here. So it arrived like um, a few weeks ago. But these are really cute. If you haven't seen these movie, it's called My Neighbor Totoro. It's on Netflix in the States and Canada now. So you can, uh, you should watch it. I definitely highly recommend this movie. I watched, like this movie came out when I was like fourth grade maybe? Third or fourth grade. And I, it's one of my favorite like movie. Okay, so I have, so let's get started. I need to get pebbles. That's in the bedroom, I forgot. Um, so, so you need a plant and anything that you want to put in. And I was going to look for a uh, mesh, but I couldn't find it at Dollarama. So I found this um, share curtain panel. It's transparent and it will, the water will, you know, go through it. So I 
I'm gonna use this as a mesh to prevent soils from going down and then it's the carbon dioxide or uh, what do you call it uh, active activated carbon charcoal activated charcoal you could look um, most of the place like I went to nurse fear the nurseries for this but I couldn't find activated charcoal there but like I said um, in my previous terrarium video too you can you can find them at the pet store at the fish section and you need soil I have the perlite and the regular soil mix and I think I'm gonna add some uh, activated charcoal in here as well for good drainage and pebbles pebbles are in the bedroom so let me go get it i'm gonna have to pause okay so i got the pebbles here it was in my bedroom for more like a decorative purpose so um the last tellarium that i showed you i made it in last september but the video is in japanese it does have english caption but I think at the time I was still making the video in Japanese so this will be a good time to make an English one how to and it will be the same way I made it before and um, yeah mine's doing really well like it's thriving my like mostly Fetonia's in there but they're all thriving doing well and it's like sealed for more than uh, I would say more than like seven months it's been ten months but it's completely sealed at least six months or so so let's get started so I cleaned this yesterday yeah and yeah so you need to have it clean just don't use anything like uh, wind wiper or anything you know chemical because you're gonna put plants in there and okay so we're gonna put pebbles first I should do that no You need to have a pebble in the bottom and then you can either mix the charcoal, not charcoal, activated charcoal um, on top of the pebbles or you can also mix it because you're going to have to, um, the charcoal helps the water, like filter water to keep it clean. And the, if you want to make a natural cycle, um, they said that because I'm I'm following uh, this guy the serpent serpa design I forgot his name but um I think serpent design yeah his like method to make a tellurium and he said that sand would be a little harder for the water to evaporate and he would recommend pebbles instead of sand uh, but um, you can have the charcoal on top of the top of the um pebbles <laughs> to have the water filtered into a clean water so I have two bags of this so I'm going to oh it did came with the black mesh I didn't need to buy a mesh okay so oh wow that's that's very cool oh yeah okay so mommy a look a look flat oh yeah it says rocks slide or like landslide so watch out it says watch out yeah, so i'm gonna out. pour this charcoal like on just like man's freight train yeah oh yeah so you can either mix it into your soil you can either mix it into your soil or you can either pour it on top of the pebbles and then put a mesh on top wait a minute was it mesh and then charcoal or hold on let me check uh, sorry guys um so i checked uh went back to like check my old video and i put the mesh first and then charcoal so i'm gonna do the same way so i cut out this uh what do you call it the mesh not mesh but like they're they're she a curtain or something but if you have a mesh something like that or you could 
last time I reused the the mesh that came in the carbon activated carb uh, charcoal, but this time I bought this, so I'm just gonna because they kind of blend in with the the pebble color. So I have cut it and I'm gonna put it on top of this pebbles. Okay. Like this. Okay, it's perfect. Okay, and then I'm gonna pour this charcoal. I have another bag. I don't know if I want to use all of it or just pour, uh, mix it with the soil. Last time I didn't really mix it with the soil. I just poured it like this. Okay, maybe I'm just gonna... I think I'm just gonna pour all of it in and not mix it with the soil. So it's really important to have an activated uh, carbon charcoal in here because the you're going to keep the water clean. Otherwise, I think it will probably cause the root rots and stuff. The water is not clean if you can't keep the water clean. Okay, so this is pretty good. Like I could, so it's like evenly placed. And then I can add the soil on top. Okay, let me just mix this quickly. Okay, so, and then on top of here, you wanna put the soil in here. It's like, ideally I wanna like, be able to see everything like if I just turn it and be able to like enjoy every um from the every angle but since I have a crack here I guess it's better to have like all the figurines around here as well like I wanted to scatter this dust bunnies around it so they like kids will have fun spotting them but because of this stupid crack that I made. I'm gonna have to maybe do a little differently. Okay, maybe I'm gonna put a little bit more soil in the middle, in the center. And how do I want this? So I do want this baby tear, like in the front looks like a, Want it to look like a little like bed, grass bed, because they look so cute and fluffy. Okay, let's see. So I'm gonna put this baby tear in the front for now. I could always come back in and rearrange. And let me see, what should I do with the... I think ideally the lemon button should go in the back. I first want it in the middle, but then it might be better in the back. And I might have to trim it back a little. Um, let me just go wash the Fictonia and come back. Okay, so Fictonia is really tiny, only have this two stem, but it has a good root system. I'm sure it will start thriving once I have it in there. So I'm gonna put Fictonias in on the, on the maybe side of it here. I really love Fictonias. And I want to, I want it to thrive. And here, and this pink leaves are just gorgeous as well. Put them together like this, I guess. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna put this aluminum. So, where could this go? I think I will put this here. Just a little bit. If you put sand and pebble, it I realize this is huge, but still like not enough <laughs> space. I feel like it's not not enough. Hoping I will do better. I'm sure it's okay. And then let's see. I'm gonna put this watermelon pepperoni. Okay, these guys are really tiny. And I will probably have to monitor this because either either it will do well or it will probably not gonna like it at all. Okay, I'm gonna put it right here. It's gonna go up the back. Let's see here. I feel like I could add more plants in here, but then like I want this to be sealed, so um, seal and let the plants take over the place. So if I like fill it too much, then um, it'll be too crowded for the plants to grow. So I think it's okay. Okay, let me let me bring some, I have some quartz that I picked up from the cottage, so I'm going to add those in here as well. Just right back. I can find it. Yeah. I picked up, well my husband picked up a whole bunch of quartz and pretty rocks from the cottage last time. So I'm going to add some of these in here. And then, um, figurines. So here are the cords. They're really pretty. Okay, now I'm just gonna place all this figurines in here. First one is gonna be this, the cat bus. Okay, okay. No, 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 that's not. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna put Totoro. Totoro. It's the Totoro, the main, uh, not the main character, but he's gonna be. I really want him to sit on. Don't, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet, Wes. I'm not ready, okay? And this, the, the little one. Is that the little Totoro. Has a baby one. Has a baby Totoro. Not yet. 
And her name is May, the little girl. Thank you. And It's really hard to get this to stand. It was so hard to place, like to keep it stand. So um, it took me forever, but everything's placed. And I know this is really hard angle to show you. Maybe I'll have a better video on the end um, to see everything inside. But this is what it looks like. Like, um, as a girl with a bus stop, at least like the girl and the bus stop and the light was the hardest to keep it stand. It'll probably fall again. And there's a cat bus and you can see like dust bunnies everywhere scattered around. So I'm going to miss this. And then next thing is you want to miss the glass. Okay, so you just want to miss around the like on the edges of the um glass uh, now my son is crying because he wants to touch everything in here he doesn't understand that it's a decoration Okay, so I've missed it. It was about a cup of water. Um, I ended up pouring the rest because it just takes takes me forever to miss and my kids are just not patient. <laughs> so anyway, um, and now it's sealed, but um, this is gonna be on my dining table, right? It's about maybe like two meter away from the big southeast window so it will get some like few hours of morning sunlight uh, you want to put it in an indirect bright light and monitor it for um, the condensation because if it's too much oh there's soil if it's too much you will see that the, the condensation on the glass will stay all day it it should not be um, like that all day it should only be in the morning and like late afternoon or like in the evening you will see some condensation in the morning or in the evening but if you see this like fog all day long then you need to like air it out because that means there's too much water inside so air it out until you see that the condensation stays in the morning and the like in the evening um, for my first tellarium, it took about three months, I think. Three months to adjust. I think I had too much water in there, so I had to like let it out. Like I kept the lid out for like during the day. Like if I see it, it's condensed. I just keep it open like this during the day. And then seal it in the, like after a few hours. So you just have to monitor it for a while and you you have possibility getting like mold and mold as well and they're they're probably okay but if it bothers you you can just spray it with the hydrogen peroxide and that's how i um got rid of the mold as well so just monitor your tellarium until oh yeah the the water cycle um gets settled until then you just need to like monitor it closely and some of the plants doesn't do well then you just need to take it out or like trim it back um hopefully all my plants will do well because i think all of them are like suited for closed tellurium so i will of course make an update video on this one so um maybe i'll do another one in three months 
and then like I guess six months and like every few months I'll make an update to show you how they're doing but um, thank you so much for watching I'll have a video of a better um, not I couldn't get a really good video but like better look than the previous one so that you can see like all the figurines inside so thank you so much for watching uh, see you in my next one bye